Good evening, and welcome to Six Flags Over Texas for Scream Rake. We have our favorite ride off, Liam, in the house. You can't even see me. Okay, yeah, you can. I can really see it's pushy. iPhone for the camera filmy tricks. I know things. So, uh, the next clip you're going to see, well, a couple clips, I guess, maybe. I don't remember how many I filmed, but I have like a review of Aquaman from when I. My phone, what the hell? Okay. What's it doing? It froze. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was so weird. My phone just had this like massive glitch thing, but uh, you're gonna see my review of Aquaman from when I wrote it during the member previews. We just did Dive Bomber at night, which is cool. Kind of, it's, it's scary. So, okay, this guy. So uh, we met like almost two years ago now at Bush Gardens Tampa, right? And they have the massive drop tower, Falcon's Fury. <laughs> he Brings knows. <laughs> so he isn't the biggest fan of heights in the world. Ironically. Very ironically. Yeah, I literally work at a theme park with heights, and I'll do anything. It's drop towers. Anything that involves me not <laughs> secured? No, <laughs> nobody. It's so funny. So we did Falcon's Fury, which is just like look it up if you haven't heard of it. It's just massive but it's like it faces you so that like you're facing the ground when it drops you like 300 feet or something and we literally just met that day and this dude was like gripping on to i think my right arm this one, someone. yeah my it's right it was my right arm but he calls it the comfort arm and it's like what what is my arm gonna do we're plummeting 300 feet but we've done the sky screamer thing where it was like the superman flying thing and he had to have his arm so of course, again, he had to grip the comfort arm. Always, always with you. So yeah, but he didn't have to have the comfort arm for too long. It's just a brief second. Yeah, it's just when we dropped. Like I the initial was, fall. Yeah. I, I was fine after. Yeah, yeah. It, just, it took you a second there. Yeah, but you know, we're making some progress. There's definitely progress. Progress. So uh, enjoy my Aquaman review, and I'll check back. Good morning. No, afternoon now. We just rode Aquaman <laughs> in the third row. I'm not too wet, though I'm wet. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Fellow enthusiasts. So yeah, we're gonna go again and try the front now. I even brought a change of shoes. Now done Aquaman in the front and the back. Uh, I'm fairly wet. Yeah, actually, so my feet didn't really get wet, which is nice. And well, oh. yeah, you get, get yeah, <laughs> you the upper body will be completely soaked if you're in the front. You also get kind of away from behind you if you're in the back, so there's that. And it broke down before he could ride it a fourth time, but it's a little cold out, it's in the 60s. All right, we just got off of Riddler. Hi, hi. We were just chatting with one of my other favorite ride attendants. I, I've got a couple. We got Liam, we got Patrick, and Marshall. They're like the top three probably for me. Um, so you're just talking to Patrick. He's typically seen at Freeze, but now he's usually kind of in the back vicinity of Gotham, at like Catwoman, all that stuff. Say hi if you see him. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, they got like curtained up by Harley. Okay, I'll show you guys in a second. Um, we're gonna do Aquaman, but first I wanna go see what's going on with Harley. Okay, Liam! <laughs> hey, he always swats it, so we gotta see you. <laughs> I got startled for once! Um, we got like a thingy, and uh, uh, we got these gates up at. Um, Harley, rest in peace. I actually kind of enjoyed the ride. I didn't ride it all the time, but I enjoyed it. So, um, decisions were made. We were in row three in the middle. I don't know how he is this so, way. So, supposedly row three is like the most driest. Row four, row four is the most dry, people. Now, yeah, now you know from experience. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> don't Shoot go that all over me. The back row is more dry than that. For real. I'm not, I'm not that wet. I'm not that wet. You're not that wet? You're, you're not that wet? No! No! No, 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 no. 
I know it's harder to see me, but like, I'm really not that wet. Like, oh, well, okay, my hair is decently wet, but like, not that wet. Um, you can't really see it, but, oh yeah, no, you can't see that literally at all. But like, my pocket is a little wet. My sleeve is kind of wet, but you can't see it. But like, I'm not like wet, wet, except apparently for my ponytail, which is fine. And it's then like, like, obviously my butt a little bit, but that's fine. Not, not, it's, like, it's like my head, and like half of my like your upper body half of my upper body just <laughs> I don't know is. how you got that wet I am not I'm wetter on this we sat like exactly like this on these sides and I'm wetter on the side he was on than the side I was on like that we love it <laughs> All right, we uh, obviously behind us is Judge Roy's Scream. We just got two rides front row in a row. Um, yeah, I haven't ridden this thing in so long, honestly, since probably even before I did that like massive uh, trip over the summer. And it's interesting now with like how many of the big famous old woodies, you know, like the Beast and Phoenix that I've done. And then to ride this little guy, which, you know, it's still really fun. But it's like impressive just how much smaller it feels than it used to. And it's not just, I think, because I've been on so many taller coasters now. I really do think it's just because it's like, I've ridden so many of the other woodies now. This poor screen. You guys, freeze, hold out of there. This thing is going fast. That was a great ride on it. My um, like, jacket just like flipped over. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Um, we're tired, so uh, I've been up since like 8:30 this morning, which is unusual for me. The typically I get up at nine if I'm like actually getting up. So uh, yeah, I'm tired because I got up at 8:30 and then had to drive three hours, and then I wasn't home for long, and then came out here. So yeah, but this has been great. Yes. Has it been good? Huh? Liam. <laughs> He's not paying attention. I'm very observant. Liam is doing as he always does in pretty much every video, not paying attention. Where are we right now? I don't remember what <laughs> No idea. What's He's six, lost. What's Six Flags? Don't, don't know. You're very lost. Poor, confused Liam. Doesn't know anything. Very lost all the time. <laughs> all right. Check out all the fun lights. Oh, they added some kind of like neon looking ones on the stars. They put, neon. yeah, is it actually neon though? Real neon though? I think it's just LEDs, but I like that. That looks great. Lots of fun. There's Liam. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's just LEDs, but it looks good. And I like the little, like the orbs in the trees. It looks nice. I like the light sprucing the place up a little bit. Okay, really fast outro because I didn't really film one leaving the park. Um, yeah, screen break was fun. I wouldn't call it something that was really necessary. Uh, also, I left the park at like 12, 10 a.m., which was like not at all the plan. Um, but that, no, well, I guess that's the time, by the time I got on the road, it was like 12, 10. Anyway, um... I wouldn't say it was like a completely necessary event for them to have, but like it was fun. Um, I just like enjoyed night rides. Um, yeah, uh, I am tired. I, like I said, I have been up for like a hot minute. So <laughs> um, I want to shower and get to bed. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is linked in the description below. And um, like the video if you liked it, share it if you think anyone else would be interested. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all around at the parks. Bye!